So just having. Ooh, some all right, now, okay, oh, now. Yeah, we. I guess we started. So. I guess. Um. All right. So game one here, Wasabi versus Elden. You got a. What do you think of this match, Greninja versus Rosaline? Well, I think I. Well, I spoke to Elden about this, and uh, they seem pretty confident about. Uh, Rosa and Greninja, I'm not really sure what tools exactly Rosa is, like, beating Greninja, Greninja with. Yeah. Because, like, I feel like, uh, I know that uh, uh, Rosaline is, like, really good at juggling. Uh, just the f just the mix-ups you can get off of, uh, you know, someone hitting Luma, and then you can get, like, a grab or, an, like, a, like, a smash attack or some yeah. sort. There's and a lot you can do with that, but I, I feel like uh, as soon as Rosa's in disadvantage, I feel like Greninja is very much in like. Uh, He's a bloodhound. He'll be on you, and he has the speed and the frame data to just be on you. Oh yeah. So and I'm, he'll he's definitely not gonna have no trouble killing her early, especially if you get a, tip, a sweet spot of up smash on oh, yeah. that platform. So um, I guess they agreed to this stage first. Uh, me, if I was Rosa, I would not like to deal with platforms against Greninja, but I guess she also wants her platform. Oh yeah, and also yeah, that uh, that that Luma callback into the uh, the back air, very very nice yeah, kill uh, cool. there. That'll sneak up on you if you if you have not fought a Rosa, and Elden's the first Rosa you fought. Uh, oh. I'm sorry, you you're, you've got to learn. You're gonna learn something yeah. today. Got to tell you. Yeah, Elden popped my Rosa cherry, uh, my <laughs> first time in RTP, and uh, got body. Oh yeah. He taught me how to hate that character. Thank you, Elden. <laughs> you, look on, you look on Tearless all the time, and you're just like, uh, you don't see Rose all that. Well, actually, you know what? I don't watch, uh, you know, like, Pro Smash all that much, so I'm assuming that a lot of people out here have seen, uh, a, a, a high, you know, very high-level Rosa with uh, DeBuzz. Uh, Is I, Cosmos also play? No. No, no. That's, they play Aegis. Oh, okay. Yes, my mains. One of them. Let's see, um, so far Elden has been doing a really good job of just keeping the pace of the match, trying oh, yeah. to keep, you know, um, Elden is a very methodical player, he just takes his time and likes to lead, and that's exactly what he's doing right now, Greninja right now here looking uh, not too healthy at 138, but um, if he gets a string, well, that's going to come the dream short. Yeah, and uh, Elden really, really doing a great job, like, racking up this damage, uh, you know, right there, uh, you saw the back air hit the uh, the Luma. Gave him a l just that little bit more time to react and get the grab and get a little bit more damage off. So a really good spacing right now. He just weaving in and out of that Ooh. that hot zone, you know, and yeah. being able to pull back and still have defensive options. Like I think he's always been good at that. Right, right. But um, well, Sabi's just having a bit of trouble trying to get something in especially now that Elden knows that he has the lead so he's just gonna take his time and uh oh it doesn't oh oh we okay. have to share this one okay yeah okay that's fine I just adjusted sorry if I wasn't supposed to do that but uh Elden taking game one game one coming from Elden maybe our resident SCU Rosalina Let's see if Wasabi fights back here. It's not over yet. Elden's up one. Elden's up one. Yeah. All right, here we go, game two. It's your boy Neon Sexy. Boy, where my daddy right here? Hello. <laughs> I was going to say. Saw this briefly. Got a bit of a microphone sexy in my boy. face, but. <laughs> All right, oh. game two. Starting on PS2 this time. Game two, PS2. Bars. We are here. <laughs> Greninja trying to be on his stage, trying to have the crowd, uh, the cheer boost. Oh, yeah, and he's, he's the green Greninja on the stage. He's going to blend into the floor. <laughs> he got that camouflage. Oh, yeah. Ooh, and got them with a pretty healthy start here. Doesn't manage to get the pivot grab. He's just trying to keep his space, still trying to work on that damage. Elvin really good at uh, just recognizing that people uh, take for granted the uh, the Luma shot or the I think it's Starbits. Yeah. Side B. It it's very unassuming. Like it's really like 
It doesn't look It does too... not look like it does that much, but like I think it does like 10% for every time you get hit by it. So 20% of you just sitting there taking it, right. fine, that works. Elden won game one, yes? Yes. yes. Elden won game one, yes? That's game two. And but, here we go. A much closer game here for Wasabi. Uh, who uses a side beat to get both Rosa and Luma away? Okay, that's a fair coming out. Water Shuriken, not gonna get anything. Trying to get the ledge games here, nothing's happening. Nair. Elden taking backstage control. Elden What's going to happen here? I think it's also scary that every time Abby uh, lands on the platforms, it feels like Elden is always just getting a hit off, like whether it be up smash, some sort of, uh, like a little bit of Luma pressure, some sort of Nair, you know? But Abby taking a stop with the F tilt there. Those F tilt, yeah. Okay. Okay, so, uh, Sabi here getting his stage moves here on his Pokemon stage. Both players are really focused here, trying to make these plays happen. Elden is trying to get this stock, so hopefully he doesn't have too much of a big gap to cover when he gets the stock. But uh, Wasabi making everything in his power to uh, not let him have his way. Ooh, and that almost killed, but it's not going to hit the same without Luma. Wasabi recognizing that Luma is quite the problem and getting rid of it is a uh, high priority, if not immediate priority. He's definitely adjusted quite a lot from the first game and uh, recognizing what he needs to do now. Yeah, we're seeing a lot more it? parries and we're seeing a lot more punishes on like landings. And there we go with the up smash, you know, Elden. Yeah, Elden. Basically infamous for that move alone. Uh, Classic Elden move. <laughs> I think if anyone knows how to land, I mean, as, spe as specific as this is, if anyone knows how to land an up smash, it's Elden. Elden will always, always yeah, get it. Yeah, I've got over 20 instances of losing bracket to that thing, mm -hmm. but we still love him the same. <laughs> He's going to get absorbed. Let's see, we got Luma here in shield pressure, goes for the pivot grab. Pressure is on. Um, Rosalina here at kill percent, but couple of strings. One, two, oh, here we go. Sorty not looking so bad. Actually, uh, up smash might do it now. Or a back air even. But uh, Ooh, Wasabi is now getting walled out and having a little bit of trouble getting in. Try to do the same thing with the side B there and just knock them both back. Maybe get a, get a bit of a cheeky kill there, but uh, didn't quite work. A lot of rolling, a lot of uh, a lot of fear from both parties. Uh, yeah, and especially because uh, Elden's trying to stall a bit, get Luma back, and there she is. So he was being a bit more conservative, but he was also not just running away. He was trying to throw some hitboxes in there while he waits. Mm -hmm. You don't want to be too predictable and just like run away because that's what everybody expects you to do when Luma's gone. Ooh, Ooh, that's a what? backer from Luma. Yeah, that was very, very well placed backer. That was. Man, this Luma. Coming out. This Luma about to get a contract with UFC. Ooh, dives a little deep, but luckily he's able to, to make it back. Luma shot, gets them off stage, and the down air is coming from. Wow. That Luma pressure of the ledge is just ridiculous. What is he going to get out of this? And uh, it's a nice exit there from Wasabi. Managed to get out and skate, but Luma is going to be shanking. Yeah, Luma really almost just killed with jab there, and that's uh, pretty pretty scary stuff. Forward throw coming out. Got to get that stage control. You're getting jumped by two people. <laughs> yeah. It's, they got that uh, the guillotine maneuver, or uh, the pincer. That's They're what it mean. is. mean. Ooh, and the up throw coming out, that's definitely something, that's an option. And now I, we got a Max Rage Greninja here. If he manages to hold to this stock and actually get a string or two, uh, he might as well uh, have Rosa at kill percent. I think the score is just going to kill. Yep. It is going to be it. Um, even game, less stock. Let's see what we got here. Up, we're not going to get anything. Not even gonna like push uh, 
a little bit of the side there. Uh, it's just racking up a little bit of damage. But yeah, and that this this is starting some things here. And there goes Luma. No, yeah. There this she might go. actually go to time. This has been a very long game. I had not noticed the time, ladies and gentlemen. I just look at the time right yeah. now. We've got 50 seconds on the board right now. And it's not being a can't be matched. They've just been playing footsies around each other and just. Yeah, but this is I, yeah, a very just, long I think match. they just keep trading interactions. I think it's. Uh, yeah, it's. Okay. And it's a pretty even game. 30 seconds left on the clock. Will we see the stock get deleted or will we get the timeout? What is gonna what is it gonna be? See if they don't get desperate. Ooh, Ooh that was very close. Ooh, and the up smash just lands with the soft hit, doesn't connect to the complete. I, I don't think that this uh the stage is really that friendly it towards Greninja. The fair with 10 seconds left on the clock. Was Savi taking the game? Now putting it 1-1. One, one. Very nice, uh, very nice match. I enjoyed that match. It was a long match, but it didn't feel like it was dragging. 1075, baby. That's what, two DLCs right there? Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> we get two DLCs with 1075. Actually, I don't know math more than that. Sorry. <laughs> no, it's, no, it's pretty close. <laughs> Gonna get tax sounds free. Like, sounds like the deal that, that you would get if you was like, oh, just trying yeah, to man, man Trek says here says I wanted a timeout. Of course you did. Of course, yeah, of course go the one time. You come in. There's a timeout. You should play Sonic. You'll enjoy that character. Mm. T-Rex <laughs> does just fine with villager timeouts, and I. Uh, oh. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's who. That was who he played. Okay. And I'm, I'm starting to see the uh, like the way Obby's playing. Uh, it does really seem like uh, Greninja has the tools to just keep Rosa in the air and like just catch every landing. But I think definitely the biggest the biggest issue is that Luma. It's racking up that damage with the uh, the side Bs. Uh, it's taking all the hits, uh, letting Elden get all these grabs, and. Uh, the thing is, like, Elden is really good at just punishing you for going for Luma. So, uh, in this game, he's done a much better job, but that up smash is going to close the gap ever so slightly. Got the grab. No follow-up. Run shield. Just trying to feel each other out still. <laughs> good parry, but it's going to be a multi-hit. Yeah, try to get that turnaround up smash. I can feel it in my bones. That's just not going to work. And the back air going to take that stock. That's going to kill because uh, Greninja got some range on him. Trying to get back on stage. See what we got. What's on the menu? Get the forward throw. Yeah, throw that's not going to do it. Less situation. What is the answer? Guess. Right. The test. And the answer is up air. Standardized ledge testing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Option select. <laughs> and sometimes you just fail. <laughs> Let's see. Elden hey, Elden doing a really here. good job Whoa. just catching these landings, getting this damage. Yeah, he's continuing to grow that lead, and it's just going to be very dangerous for your ninja now to land or get hit by up smash. And we got a dangerous situation here. The ledge drifts back. Nothing's going to happen. And it hit shield, trade, and that's a wow. down smash on both sides. And that was dash a beautiful makes, uh, setup. Oh, that oh, almost feels unfair. Now that one's evil. That is a dash attack, but the the dash attack hits your shield. Rosalina does not dash attack. She goes for a grab. So you're getting hit and grabbed at the same time. It's, While you're in shield some. Yeah, mm. such, such an evil setup. Very evil indeed. And that's the up smash, and this is a pretty big lead now from Elden. Will we see Wasabi come back? It is not impossible, but it will require a lot of work for him to get this comeback. He's gonna play, gonna have to play almost perfect. Right. Oh, and I, I thought was that was say, an SD. Well, this is definitely Avi's chance to get all that damage that he needs. Um, with with Luma gone, there's really nothing 
it's no holds bars. It's it, like just get in there, start throwing out hitboxes. Yeah, no, You're not going to hit anything. Uh, nothing's going to get in your way. You know, like I, I don't think uh, uh, Rosalina has really got any like reversals of her own in the air. So like, just like, go for it. Yeah, and he did. He stalled off stage for quite a bit until Luma was back. That's a down air. That's a grab. What are we gonna get here? Are we going for the off stage? Another What's grab, back here? throw. What are we gonna see here? We're gonna see some Luma shenanigans. Down tilt. Tried to go for the counter. Wasabi just getting hit by all these stray hits, trying to get back to stage. Oh, oh and no, it's gonna the be the buffer SD down air. With the down air. Uh, that's that's really unfortunate. We know we know very well that is not. We what don't that was know about that buffer. And that is gonna be the game. Uh, to one 